At the penultimate round of the 2022 NHRA drag racing season, Tony Stewart decided it was finally time to dip a toe in the water and enter his first race in NHRA competition in Las Vegas. The NASCAR Hall of Famer and NHRA team owner found himself in a unique role throughout the weekend, swapping between team owner and first-time competitor, fighting his way through a tough top alcohol dragster field against more experienced drivers. It would be a weekend Tony Stewart will never forget. I'm your host, Dan Bennett, and welcome to another edition of Nitro Mouth. After his much publicized test sessions in wife Leah Pruitt's top field dragster last year, it was only a matter of time before Tony Stewart would enter a national event in competition mode. The NASCAR Hall of Famer had a solid race car under him all weekend, the A Fuel Dragster, owned by the McPhillips family. After qualifying number two in the 16 car field with a solid 5.21 second pass, Stewart edged out James Stevens and Taylor Vetter in Saturday's first two rounds of eliminations before full focus shifted to Sunday. We said going into this weekend that the primary goal was to get experience, Stewart said. It wasn't to focus on performance, it was about learning procedures and learning how to do them correctly and just get the experience of the weekend. So far, we're happy with that experience. Stewart took a not so veiled swipe at NASCAR on Sunday saying, I'm definitely having more fun than I've had in a long time. Definitely not anywhere that has fenders on it. So I'm loving this sport. During Sunday's eliminations, Stewart would edge out Chris Demke before losing a tough final round to third generation alcohol class racer, Madison Payne. In one of the closest final rounds in top alcohol dragster history, Payne would edge out Tony Stewart by just two ten thousandths of a second. Stewart's 5.25 second pass couldn't cover Payne's quicker reacting 5.26, both drivers over 270 miles an hour at the stripe. It was a weekend that far exceeded Tony's expectations, adding to the enjoyment that he's had within the NHRA fraternity so far, remarking just how supportive everyone's been. Guys from the pro pits on down, the support from the alcohol division, the drivers and crews, how much they welcome me today. Just an awesome feeling. It's nice to get through two rounds today and get to race on Sunday with the pros. Pretty big deal for me. So, what's the next step for Tony Stewart moving forward? Is this the beginning of a drag racing career or simply a chance to test his driving skills in a new discipline? I haven't even thought that far, honestly, Stewart said. This weekend was about just going through the experience. And truly, after the weekend's over, we'll sit back and say, hey, is this something that we want to pursue and want to try to do more of? After the weekend, we'll sit there and go, was that overwhelming? Was it too much? Do I just need to stay in my lane and be an owner? Or does this seem like something that's feasible? And honestly, I'm going to rely on Rich McPhillips, senior and junior, owner of his top alcohol dragster entry, and see what their comfort level is. Stewart's wife, Leah Pruitt, offered up her thoughts on the future. There's a lot of questions and we don't really have a plan, except to enjoy life and enjoy racing and conquering new endeavours together. This is a challenging sport. He's understanding that being able to race together is priceless. Stewart's weekend in Vegas ended on a high. After his runner-up finish in Top Alcohol Dragster, his team's Nitro Funny Car, driven by Matt Hagen, beat Robert Height, edging Hagen to just two points behind second Ron Caps as the season heads into the Auto Club Finals at Pomona. Do you think Tony Stewart's presence in NHRA has the potential to lure other NASCAR team owners or drivers? Let us know in the comments. And for more great motorsports videos like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.